Sorry about that. And in Montreal. Wow, look at that. And so, yeah, so this is something I've been doing every few weeks. And today I'm actually doing this part of the Canada Performs um, initiative. So this is pretty exciting. So thank you for coming. And yeah, I mean, let's just get started.
this hollow world These hollow days bring so much hell We keep our beds for living That echo in the dirt Why do we keep this world undone? Did we all try? Is this goodbye now? Oh, my hollow world What do they mean? All these empty words I can't stay This hollow world Such hollow deeds Just only hurt We lost The real connection We raised a false ego What did we do? What do we know? Did we All try
heavens brighter
that was hollow side a of hollow cheers thanks for coming i'm sorry i wasn't able to get youtube working my friends but you're here on facebook i see comments i can't see without my glasses so <laughs> i keep seeing these things popping out i actually thought i was playing one song i don't know if i think i messed up the lyrics but I saw like the little hearts things happening on the screen and I thought someone was behind me so I had a moment of panic. <laughs> but everything's okay. So, um, yeah, welcome, Sacred Sounds. I wasn't supposed to do one until May, but uh, the National Arts Council of Canada, they have this great initiative, Canada Performs. They're, they're helping artists right now and it's a wonderful thing. So I had this opportunity and yeah, I just had to take it. This is great. And I'm happy I'm doing this. I'm also happy because the whole point of cutting back on, um, will I do that next? No, I won't. Let me, let me do another song first. The whole point of cutting back on doing these sessions was that so I could work on new music. I mean, I still have my day job. I'm still working uh, from home. I'm lucky I'm one of those people that could work remotely. I have my wife, I have my kids. So life's very busy and doing all these sessions just was making it harder to find time to create music, but actually the week I took off, I wrote a song and I'm really happy about it. I'm not gonna play it right now. I'm just gonna play one more. Um, it's a song, it's a song photograph. Um, it's off of um, Ship of Fools. And this song is interesting for me in the fact that Ship of Fools was an interesting record wherein that I wanted to write stories in some ways and the, the whole concept of the album because I read I don't know if I, I meant if you know this but um, the story behind that record is that um, I was I love Neutral Milk Hotel and over in an airplane over the, the Milk Sea whatever it's called and I, I read something about I can't remember his name but he, uh, he was looking at a picture of Anne Frank I think and he wrote a lot of songs just trying to like a picture that has a million stories to it so he's tr he, he wrote all these songs around that picture and so i was wondering if i could do the same thing and my friend daniel barkley is an amazing artist um he has a he has his own interpretation of bosch's uh ship of fools so i used that as a basis for a lot of ship of fools and i was trying to pull out stories up from it so that was that but this one came when someone close to me um one day said um, they found an old picture of themselves when they were younger. And then they said, when I look at this picture, uh, I don't recognize that person anymore. I don't know that person. And I found that really powerful about what photos are, what memories are, and how we go on. But that's a snapshot of a life we had and who we were. And it's not who we are now. So I wrote this song, Photograph, with that in mind. Thank you for coming, Sarah, William. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that's a harmonica. <laughs> it's going to come out in a bit. But uh, right now, I'm going to play photograph. I just like taking off my glasses because if I move around too much, I could do that. So. Hopefully, I remember all the words. But you'll forgive me. I mean, it's only rock and roll. All I've got is a photograph That takes me to a place and time my life still had plans Scars of life had not left the mark And all the roads that lay ahead were hidden in the dark Oh, the years had been so unkind To leave me all alone All my choices I yet track of who I am to find me now here all alone with all hope torn apart oh the years have been so unkind to leave me all alone all my choices
think I, I think I jinxed myself. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I remember the lyrics, so I'm so sorry about that. But it's a nice song. It's nice chords. It, on that on that album, it was like that album was much more kind of dancey and stuff. So this was a nice. I, I always like this song. Hey Linda. But yeah. So thank you. Um, so someone asked about a harmonica. I have a harmonica because I wrote a song <coughs> with a harmonica. So let me tell you about the song. Oh. Cheers. Um, <coughs> so it start, it's just it's something, it's a melody I've had lying around for a few years and, and, uh, And I started seeing a lot of artists running songs about COVID, like a COVID song. Like, oh, do you have a COVID song? And I heard this one band do this one song, and I was like, ah, it's all right, you know, it's a good rhyming scheme. But it was more about, it was, um, it was like lost. It was like kind of in my lonely room. And I'm sure everyone's writing that song right now because we're all kind of lonely, and we're in our rooms. So, but, uh, so I, I wrote a song and. And then I, I just started thinking it just sounded too gimmicky and it would become a meme. And I was like, I don't, I don't want a song to become a meme. This is like, this is, this is kind of what I want this to, I write songs that will live, will hopefully live forever. And hopefully I'm hoping I knew that if I had a song like a COVID song, I'd look back and go, oh, what a throwaway that was. And I didn't feel this song was worthy of that. It deserved more. So I dug deeper and I've known a lot of um, Canadian friends that went to uh, America chasing the American dream. Uh, not like to, you know, I mean, growing up as a Canadian in the 80s and stuff, uh, America was like, America was everything. I mean, every kid thought that. I mean, look at the Beatles. They went to America because that's where rock and roll is. And America's always had this idea of presented themselves as being the promised land and anybody can make it and as a kid i remember uh, as a canadian i always felt as like second class to americans I'm like oh they're so cool they have everything like this is a kid like that's how kids think and get older you know like your band you tour canada they're like oh i want to tour america i want to get into america and then you start touring america and then you meet some you, you make some amazing friends in america and then you hear their stories and you're like why why is america great and so and then I've had friends that have moved to America and and I'm sorry, but it's been, I know not everyone might agree with me, but it's been a pretty dark, it's pretty dark there. And uh, not just now, but even before for years and everything that, that it stands for. And uh, so this one's called American Dream. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. We can still be friends, but maybe you'll just like the melody. Let's try this. They say that we got it real bad. Thousands dead in the streets, but not enough body bags. I don't want no more of this amazing. Yankee kids spend their break on the beach Fascists carry the torches The president gives a speech I don't want no more of this American dream Gma, I wanna go Back to Ontario Gma, I want to go home Since no kids been shot, not so much winning as all of the schools are locked. I don't want no more of this American dream. My friend got sick and they made her pay. She mortgaged her life just so she could live for today. 
don't want no more this American dream Gma I wanna go back to Ontario Gma So that's American Dream. Um, I think I'm going to be releasing it next week. So hopefully that was all right. I'm not the best harmonica player. I just learned uh, a couple days ago. So. And I'm a bit nervous. That's how it goes. So. <clears throat> This song, um, I just released. Um, I just released a video last week. Elephant Stone just released a video last week, and um, <clears throat> it was directed by my brother-in-law. I could say my brother's wife's brother, Vince Gosey, amazing guy. He made this video, and he's like a synthesizer whiz and everything. And he made this great video. For the song that I, 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 I'm very happy with uh, Fox on the Run. It's, it's again, it's like an older song. And the final version was pretty much my demos I did uh, back in 2017. And we just added some accoutrement to it and stuff. But yeah, it turned out really well. And, and lyrically, I mean, like Side A of Hollow is talking about this dystopian apocalypse, which... You know, it is what it is. And Side B was more personal. And so Fox, you know, and also, again, Fox on Run was influenced by current affairs, as a lot of my lyrics are. So anyways, I don't want, I don't need to go into that. I already gave a spiel about American Dream, but... So let me try this song. I mean, the al album version's like, there's no really acoustic guitar. So I've been trying to, trying to figure out a, ver a way to do this. So let's see if this goes. <clears throat>
So that was my attempt at doing Fox on the Run by Elephant Stone. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I'm gonna do one more. Um, this is a cover of someone that I really love. I'm gonna need my glasses for this one because I don't know the words. So thank you so much for coming tonight. Um, actually, let me, I got an idea. I'm just gonna maybe stretch it out a little. I mean, you guys came all this way, and everybody loves sitar, so why not? See, so, so, tuning a sitar, this is it. Um, I was tuned to a minor uh, scale before, so I'm just gonna quickly see how fast I can tune this. That was the minor third to major third. That's a flat um, six. There you go. People have asked me how long it takes to tune a sitar. I did that in about less than a minute. Craig, Craig thinks I should do an unplugged version of Hollow World. Craig Snyder, great friend, love him. And Bev, love you too, Bev. So you folks in the UK, you must, it must be pretty late for you. So thank you for coming. Anybody wants to buy a hoodie? We have a lot on our online store. some sitar. The set started on a very minor. It's funny, I see Facebook putting the, uh, the captions at the bottom and it refuses to say sitar, it says guitar. Zuckerberg, learn what a sitar is. Oh, there you go. I guess I have to articulate. Actually, it says star. It's just not going to happen.
Sweet dreams, everybody. Thank you for coming. That was a song by Beck, if, if people were asking, but I see everyone knew already. Elephant Stone fans do have good taste. So thank you so much for coming, guys. And yes, be well, be safe. We'll get through this. I'm going to drop a new single next week. Check it out. And I think that's it. Take care, guys. Let's see, how do I do this? <laughs>